Hello, this is Vampire. I'm here to talk about something that's pretty difficult. This is, I don't know, my third or fourth try. So um, what I want to talk about is Sensei Rick and I, we've been doing these movie reviews and we're, we've been having a lot of fun with it. It's very nostalgic and, and um, you know, it's, it's, uh, we're trying to show you um, and, and explain to people how much fun we have with these kinds of films and and that's the main focus is uh how how it was enjoyable for us to watch and we're hoping that that uh comes across so anyway at some point we started off in the 70s with bruce lee who is probably one of the first martial arts uh, people to influence both of us and then we go into the 80s with the ninja craze, and that was also very inspiring. And then now we're in the 90s with Van Damme, and then uh, this uh, next weekend, we're, we're hoping, this coming weekend, we're hoping to get into um, Steven Seagal. So if you look at it that way, um, you know, we're, we're kind of following this, this path here, but with Van Damme and Seagal in the 90s, uh, man, it, it was huge at the time. It was martial arts craze um, because they were the two top guys in Hollywood. Especially if you're talking about action films, they were number one, both of those guys. So obviously, you know, that affected the everything. So there were a ton of other martial arts uh, movies trying to you know take advantage of this martial arts craze and uh those were great too so anyway at, at the time i was in high school junior high high school in the 90s i felt like it was a great time to get into martial arts and i did and uh, uh it, it was so big in my life and, and also uh, with, with Sensei Rick from what he tells me. And uh, to this day, we both train in martial arts and, and we, we both super into it. So it obviously had a huge impact to, to both of us and, and plenty of other people as well. So anyway, Van Damme and Steven Seagal, it, it was the era at the time. But also, you know, today there's a lot of uh, negative things being said. Okay, uh, probably more about Seagal, but there, there's definitely some negative things that have come out about Van Damme. Now, the first thing is, I don't know how true these allegations are, because I didn't check my resources. Okay, I, I heard about them, saw some videos, and I didn't bother to you know, to check and make sure that that uh, it's real or, or I didn't go deep into it, in other words. Why? Because it just, it's that's not important in my life. So what I try to focus on with both of them is that, you know, they inspire me and definitely in the 90s super inspired me at that time. Um, to get into and to train in martial arts. So uh, that's the area that I focus on. Um, there was an interview with Steven Seagal. It was a music CD and the interview was on there and it had like um, uh, a bunch of music from his uh, movies like Above the Law, the Aikido scene at the beginning of the movie. That piece is an excellent um, number and it had other ones like hard to kill and in the uh, alpha justice and stuff but at the end of the CD it had an interview with Steven Seagal and and uh, the guy asked him um, do you have any advice for people that are uh, wanting to get into Hollywood and Steven Seagal's advice was Hollywood is a, a dark and twisted place he pretty much said something like that and if you're really trying to get in there, uh, I would think twice about it. And for those of you that are doing martial arts, he says you're on the right path and just keep going. 
And you see, that's very inspiring. And I'll never forget that to this day. That was great. I thought he kept it very, very real. Uh, but now, you know, I'm not ignorant about the stuff that has been said about him um, as far as him like um, being abusive towards women and the way he was trying to cast these actresses and, and take advantage of them and stuff like that. Now, once again, I don't know how much of that is true. Um, but for me to sit back here and to criticize and go, yeah, he's a scumbag. He is a, a, a womanizer and this and that. And, and to make all these judgment calls, who am I to do that, you know? Because if I had that level of fame, I don't know if I would be just as bad, if it's true, just as bad or worse. I don't know, okay? Um, I'd like to think that I wouldn't be, but I'm talking crap unless I'm actually, you know, there. It's like someone saying, oh yeah, I could, I would fight really well. Well, unless you, you actually fight, you're talking crap. So unless I'm actually in that position where I am the number one guy in Hollywood and I am being treated like a god, will I, you know, abuse my power or not? So all I can do right now is to try to make sure that I'm not going to be that guy. And with Van Damme, um, they asked Michael Jai White, they, they asked him... Um, in an interview, uh, you know, what do you think of Van Damme as a martial artist? And he said, as a human being on the set where, where Michael Jai White was still a nobody at the time, uh, he was in Universal Soldier where he was a, a fellow Vietnam vet uh, with Van Damme and in a flashback, they're hiding in the bunker together. And he said on that set, they had the rain going and it was super cold. Uh, so Van Damme like gave him his jacket and uh, put it on Michael Jai White to keep him warm. And he said, as a human being, he'll never forget that. Uh, so, so as a human being, Van Damme was, you know, great, great person. As a martial artist, he said, um, basically, if you fall into the drugs, the um, recreational drugs, the cocaine or, or uh, that kind of stuff, he was like, as a martial artist, that's a fail. So, no, is pretty much what he said. And the reason why he said that, and I think he was implying Chuck Norris, was he said, you know, he knows martial artists that went into Hollywood and got into the, the fame, the big fame, but didn't fall into the drugs and the, the partying and, and whatnot. So, um you know, and, and I think so he was talking about Chuck Norris there. So, you know, I don't know if that's true or not, but Michael Jai White is making some, some, some sense there, in my opinion. Now, to me, Van Damme is still a martial artist. And Steven Seagal is still a martial artist. Now, I'm not saying it's okay for them to be the bad things, the negative things that they've done. I'm not excusing that, but I'm saying I'm looking at the positive things. I'm looking at what they've done, contributed to the world, and inspired uh, people to train in martial arts and to people to try to uh, get discipline and work out and become healthy and and uh, develop confidence and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, to me, is fantastic, absolutely. Now, about their negative things, if they're true, then I think instead of sitting back and, you know, once again, on my high horse and criticizing and making comments or videos where I'm making fun of them and stuff, then to me, that's not very impressive as a human being. So what I do think is important is to relate that to me. And make it into a lesson for me. So if Steven Seagal is, if he's treat, he has treated women badly, and if he does, then it is my duty to apply that to myself and make sure that I don't treat women badly. In fact, it is 
it's important for me to make sure to uh, to do the opposite and treat women well and and not be that way. So that's that's a lesson. And uh, same with Van Dam, you know, is is to make sure that I don't become addicted to to drugs and uh, you know all. I could tone it down because obviously I don't do cocaine, but um, I could make it something that's more applicable to me. So that is, uh, in my case, I, it wasn't just that kind of drugs. It was also to stay away from other drugs like, um, you know, like sinus uh, uh, relief or, you know, those kinds of things because people could easily abuse that stuff too. At the first sign, they're like immediately running towards that kind of stuff. The first sign of even a, a minor headache, they they want headache relief. Um, so, you know, part of that is you want your body to fight that a little bit and, and learn how to, you know, I'm not saying severe cases, but I mean, you know, the smaller stuff, tough it out, you know, let your body learn how to combat that stuff, you know, so don't be so, I don't want to say wimpy, but, and, and, uh, it's to fight that addictive personality. Now there's, if we're talking about addictions, there's plenty of things to get addicted to. And in my case, um, you know, sugar is very difficult. I grew up really, really liking sweets. So that's something to combat. Um, one of the things that's harder to give up than sweets is uh, chips. Um, not not the British chips, but um, potato chips. Not French fries. Okay, so uh, yeah, because in my brain it's not as bad as like sugar. So then I go, hey, that's okay. I I can have uh, some Doritos or Fritos or or whatever, you know, and and. I need to be able to fight that better, have better discipline. So all this stuff you could apply to yourself, you know, and, and like, you're like, I don't abuse women. Well, yeah, but on a smaller scale, there's probably things that you could do better towards women, you know, and, and, uh, there, there's some habits and stuff that people don't even realize that, that they do. And, and, you know, they could uh, fall into stereotypes and prejudices that, that you need to probably learn how to conquer and stuff. So once again, what's important is to me is to look at the positive with these guys or, or any celebrity or any kind of situation. Okay, look at the positives from there. And then as far as the negatives go, because they should be there as long as they're human beings. There should be positives and negatives and everything in between. So when you get to the negatives, then apply it to yourself. Don't just judge them and say, oh, look at that. They, this guy is a rapist. Don't, don't, you know, don't just do that. Apply it to yourself and go, okay, how do I make sure, you know, that I'm not even in the same, you know, uh, line because, you could go to somewhere where it's like a guy that's sexually um, abusing a woman, but then on a much smaller scale, but the same line, you know, you tone it down, tone it down, tone it down, tone it down, and you could get to something where, you know, it's making a, a comment towards um, sexual harassment comments. So that's not as bad, but it might be something you think is not even uh, that bad. It just might be like, you know, that outfit looks smoking hot and or or something like that okay but if it's unwanted then you're going into the same line there so you know you have to really critique yourself not judge others but critique yourself and that's one of the biggest lessons that i've learned in martial arts is is to analyze yourself you know so uh i just feel like there's way too much of people you know, sitting on a high horse once again, being a keyboard warrior and saying all this bad stuff because it's so easy to do and then making themselves feel good and going, yeah, I'm not like that person. But actually, you might be, you know, once again, on a more toned down scale, you might be on a similar path 
And then if you ever get to a situation where you are in power, you might end up abusing power because you never corrected it. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to bring this up. And uh, so we're going to have fun uh, doing, uh, hopefully, Steven Seagal on the next video. But, you know, please understand, we're... We're not ignorant of of the the negatives that have been been said. Okay, so anyway, uh, just wanted to address that and just didn't want to be like in denial of that or or something like that. So, uh, you know, focus on the positives and learn from the negatives. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.